Hi guys, it's Ben here, and of course this is a Watford preview, but it will come as no surprise that the first part of this video is all about Philip Coutinho. So the day has come, the nightmare, the thing we didn't really expect, the thing I suppose some of us feared has happened. He has handed in a transfer request. We were promised, well we were, we assumed this wouldn't happen. It has, the, the talk was that he wasn't going to angle for a move, he was going to, he wanted it, but he wasn't going to force it himself. He has tried to force it. His representatives are even coming out and saying that the relationship between him and Klopp has deteriorated. What timing, Phil? What timing? I don't expect Coutinho to have any loyalty towards his club, but people do expect that from footballers. I think it's naive to do so. He's got no reason to be particularly committed to us. Yes, he signed the contract, but it's football. Van Dijk signed the contract. It's what happens. You protect the asset that you have if you're a football club. As a player, you want the pay rise. It doesn't mean that if a club doesn't come calling, like Barcelona, if that happens, it doesn't mean you can't go. It doesn't mean that it will not happen. And Barcelona have come calling. The Neymar stuff has happened quite late on in the window. That's happened in August, and this is the fallout from that. They need a player desperately, they need someone to replace him. Coutinho's the chosen one, along with Dembele from Dortmund, and that puts us in a terrible situation. One in which I didn't anticipate, one in which is completely ruined off summer, because it was unbearable enough anyway with Van Dijk and Cater and Oxlade Chamberlain, everything else that was going on. We just couldn't get any deals done, and now we've got this where Look, I was, I was going to settle for Van Dijk and Keita in. Now I'm having to settle for neither of them coming in and Coutinho not leaving. It's a summer that looked like it turned us into champions is becoming a summer that could completely tear our team apart. A lot of people are blaming FSG for this and, well, look, we, we, we tried to do some business early on in the summer. We've messed up Van Dijk. We took a while on Salah. That took longer than I'd have hoped. We found ourselves with a, with a couple of players in by July and still the best part of our summer to do with Van Dijk and maybe Cater still to do at the start of August and that still is the case but that's all been overshadowed. A lot of you are asking for my opinion on Coutinho and FSG and what's going to happen. A lot of you saying we shouldn't keep a player that's unhappy, a lot of you saying that look at Suarez in 13-14. I'm somewhat on the fence. I've got no personal affiliation towards Coutinho. I've got no love for him as a human being. I've got no connection to him. I like him as a footballer. Look, seem, I'm sure he's a great guy. He's got a lovely smile, blah, 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 blah. But he's a footballer that plays for my football club. I'm not a Philip Coutinho supporter. I'm a Liverpool supporter. I want the best players playing for my club as possible. I don't want Philip Coutinho to leave because he is our best player. And I want those players to win Liverpool the Premier League title because that is the only reason I'm watching them is so that they can win the league. So would I be upset if Coutinho left not on a personal level, but it would make that target less likely. So therefore, of course, it would upset me because there's no one else on the market that we can bring in that's anywhere near as good as him. If we were to go and bring in Van Dijk and Cater and Los Coutinho, um, I said a few weeks ago I wouldn't accept that. I said I wouldn't swap Coutinho for Van Dijk and Keita because he's just that important, he's that good. And if he stays fit, he's going to have that season. This is the year when he's going to be pre-FA Player of the Year and so on. But... Now that he's done this, on the eve of the season, it hurts. It, it hurts that he would do it on this day. Look, he wants to miss Barcelona. I accept, I, honestly, fair play. I'm glad, he's, I'm glad he's honest about it because you know we don't want to be led along. They've come in for him and he's admitted he wants to go. As Jurgen Klopp says, if this was earlier on in the summer, maybe something could have happened. Maybe we would have accepted 120 million or maybe even 100 or 90 and look, we would have rebuilt from there. We would have looked at... Some other options, guys that were on the market back then, we may have looked at Lacazette, we may have looked at Aubameyang or someone else of that ilk, or maybe another midfielder instead of Cater. It looks like we've missed out on Cater. It looks like Van Dijk's still going to be a struggle. The whole summer is just at a complete standstill. I don't know where Cater's going to play. I don't know where Van Dijk's going to play. I don't know where Coutinho's going to play next season. And on the eve of Watford versus Liverpool, it's a hideous situation to be in. What do I think is going to happen? I think we might get the Coutinho season that we got out of Suarez in 13-14. I don't think he'll be as good. Oh, we can't sell him. We can't sell him. Is it inevitable? Is he going to sulk? Is he going to sit out? Is he going to refuse to train? It's the Van Dijk saga at Southampton. Is it going to be as bad as that? It may well be. Do we want to keep that sort of player around? That You can all point to the Suarez example. You can all point to several cases where this has happened, where players have just tried to force a move. There's the chain, there's a the chain, it goes, look, Southampton don't want to sell to us. 
neither do Leipzig. We don't want to sell to Barcelona. They've been slung by PSG. They need to make a statement. We're not a selling club. I know we're not a selling club, but it's Barcelona Football Club. And unfortunately, at the moment, that's the dream move for Coutinho. The money is obviously a factor. He's 25 now. He's coming towards the prime of his career. He wants to play with Suarez and Messi. Who wouldn't? Why should he be? You, some of you are going to comment saying that he should be loyal to the club that gave him a chance, took him from Inter at a young age when he, his career was sort of not really going anywhere, and we helped him develop into one of the most promising players in the world. And now is one of the best attacking midfielders in the world, and he's going to throw that in on our face on the opening on the eve of the opening day of the season by handing in a transfer request by email, getting his representatives to start stirring the stirring the pot with Klopp. I feel so sorry for Jurgen Klopp in this case. Oh. I don't know what's I don't I don't know what's gonna happen. Of course I don't, it's I nothing to do with the club. I can't give any sort of expert opinion. Uh, I don't I, I I shouldn't be emotionally bothered by this. I, I should be I should expect this. A, a, one of our best players has been great for us, hasn't helped us win anything, but has been awesome for us, has elevated us to the top four and you know, maybe better things than that in years to come. And he's maybe attract other players into the team, want to come and play with him, the likes of Mane, Firmino, and he no longer wants to be a part of that. It's, it's upsetting on a footballing level, not really on a personal level, because he doesn't give a shit. He doesn't give a shit. He, he'll say he loves Liverpool, and I've, um, he, he will have a, a part of him. He'll, he'll, he, he will love the city, he'll appreciate how much the fans love him, but we, we've seen today that that doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. It's, you've got to be selfish as a footballer, and that's exactly what he is. He wants to move for Barcelona. You shouldn't be surprised by that. And it's not FSG's fault. This is not FSG's fault that Philip Coutinho has handed in a transfer request today. I don't know how you can possibly spin that. There's, there's a lot of FSG out going around at the moment, and look, it's not. this summer has not gone to plan. And I released a video about two months ago airing my frustrations about FSG. I never said I wanted them out. I said I was getting a bit impatient with the lack of movement in, in the market, and this was months ago. I mean, you can only imagine how I feel about that now, but you have to kind of remain level-headed somewhat. I admit in that video I probably wasn't, but Coutinho has ruined the whole summer. It's the whole thing, the Neymar to PSG, Domino effect has really, really affected us, and there's no easy solution. There really isn't an easy solution. There's no right or wrong answer, really. We've got to remain firm. But so have Southampton with Van Dyke, so have Leipzig with Keita. What, what is the correct outcome? Do you think FSG should be able to outsmart Coutinho, Barcelona, Leipzig, and Southampton? It's a horrible day. It's not what we want. But we've got a game at Watford tomorrow. It's the opening day of the season. And on the pitch is what matters the most, okay? I mean, look, pre-season we've been pretty promising. A lot of young players have come through. Solanke and Kent, as I said. Moreno looks to have given himself a shout again. He may even start tomorrow. We've played well. We're scoring goals. I think we just need three points tomorrow to calm us all down. The dust have to settle with Van Dijk. The dust have to settle with Coutinho. I'm, as you can tell, if you're a regular viewer, this is not, I'm usually much more upbeat than this, but it's... A uh, crap day, it's a crap day. But tomorrow, let's look ahead at it. So no Nathaniel Klein, no Daniel Sturridge, no Lallana obviously, no Coutinho with a back problem. We did the double over Watford last season, so happy hunting ground, especially for Emre Chan, who scored that wonder goal, and I'm expecting him to start tomorrow. The starting eleven, I think it's gonna be something like Mignolet, Alexander-Arnold, Matip, Lovren, I think Milner will get another left back just because Watford are quite physical, I think he'll be right for that. Then Henderson, Chan, Wijnaldum, Firmino, Salah and Mane. That is just, a, that's a brilliant 11. We should win the game. We should win a lot of games with that 11 and, and it will improve. Of course it will. That's not all we do in gloom. This squad, even without Coutinho, who if we lost, we would replace adequately. Of course, don't come up with me with, we're going to lose him and not sign anybody because that's not going to happen. This team is still good. This team is still a contender for top four and even the title. So let's calm ourselves down a bit, but yes, we do need to strengthen. It's hanging over all of our heads, even with the season about to start. This is why some people call for the window to end before the season. Don't see that happening, but there's no Troy Deeney for Watford tomorrow. They've got Andre Gray instead. That'll be a tough test for us. Other than that, it's not a team I particularly rate. I've picked them to go down, actually, so I'm really backing us to go here and win by two goals to nil. I want Firmino and I want Mane to score the goals. Maybe Salah. Who cares? Just bloody win. As far as odds are concerned, we're four to seven. They're five to one. The draw is three to one. So we are favourites, and we should be. I'm backing us to go here and win. Just need to be cheered up. Just need some positive news. Where it come through on the pitch or off it. I want to hear some progress on Van Dijk. 
Let's resurrect Cater if we can. Coutinho is going to roll on and on and on. Didn't need this, did we? Not been the most upbeat video, but I hope you've enjoyed it nonetheless. And please do drop a like on this, share the video for me, let me know your opinions. Do leave a comment with your thoughts on the Coutinho situation. Is it going to be a Barcelona player on September the 1st or a Liverpool player? Same can be said for Van Dijk. Will he be a Liverpool? Will Cater come back into the fray? Who are we going to sign? <sighs> Follow my other socials, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook. It's Ben Might Say on all of those. Let's go and win tomorrow. Up the Reds. See you next time.